So the first thing we're going to want to do is download the update file uh, using Safari or Chrome. Uh, you can just do a Google search for crucial firmware update with the model of your hard drive. Uh, usually it'll be the first uh, download link uh, that Google kind of throws up, but just make sure that you see that it says crucial.com. You don't want to get caught into any like third parties, you know, kind of ad or anything like that. And uh, scroll down the list and you should be able to find your drive. Uh, I'm actually using the crucial M4. So this is the one that I'm going to download. So I want to make sure that you're getting the Mac file there. Awesome. Let's minimize the web browser, close the window and we'll drag it right to the desktop. All right. And this method does require a CD and a CD drive. So what we'll do is right click and burn disk image. All right, and let's get one of our CDs, pop that in. Once the drive has detected the CD, you can go ahead and click burn. Awesome. Once you see it mounted on your desktop, we can go ahead and shut down the computer. Uh, if you don't have it uh, mounted on your desktop, it just might not be visible because you don't have the option to see it, but you should be good in any case. So once the computer is shut down, we're going to power it back on and hold down the option key. All right, and continue holding the option key until you see your hard drive pop up. And then shortly after, you're going to see the CD drive. We're going to select it with the arrow keys and click the arrow button right below the disk to boot into the CD. So from here, it's pretty much a hands off process. Uh, it's going to detect your drive and let you know, hey, I've detected a compatible drive. I'm going to go ahead and update it. Uh, if your drive has already been updated, it'll let you know, hey, you don't have to do anything. This drive is already updated. Or if you downloaded the wrong firmware file, it'll say, hey, this firmware file isn't compatible. As you can see, my drive is being updated now from firmware MU01 to MU04. So let's give that a couple of minutes. And once it's done, you can go ahead and hold down the power button to shut down the computer. And once the computer shut off, you can eject the CD by powering the computer back on and holding down the trackpad button. And I'm going to demonstrate that here. So just continue holding it down. And this is kind of like a, a fun shortcut or a fun trick in case your CD ever gets stuck in the drive or your computer's operating system is messed up and you can't get the CD out. That's the way to do it. So other than that, the computers are going to start up. Uh, if everything went smoothly, it should come back on uh, as expected. Hopefully there aren't any kind of crashes or errors. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.